Hi, this is Kumarish. Welcome to the second part of our four video series introducing you to VWO's conversion optimization platform. In this part, we will focus on the analyze capability of VWO that helps you understand your visitor behavior. Let's start with heat maps. Heat maps help our visitors to identify what areas on the website our visitors clicking on and what sections are grabbing the attention of a visitor. Once you enable heat maps by clicking on the Enable Now button, VWO starts capturing clicks across all pages on your website where the VWO Smart Code is available. To view heat maps, simply go to the heat map section and enter the URL of the page or set of pages you intend to plot the heat map for. Since VWO is a connected platform, you get options to filter heat maps to view clicks for visitors who dropped off at a certain step of the funnel or did not convert for a goal. In case there are pages that you regularly view heat maps for and have specific targeting options set up, you can make use of the Create a View section, which acts as a shortcut for commonly viewed heat maps in your account. Let us show you how these heat maps look once clicks are captured. Once the heat map is plotted, you now see five different heat map types to give you access to data from all possible angles. Heat maps. It helps you identify the elements, banners, or sections of your website most clicked on or ignored by visitors. The intensity of the clicks is indicative of this. Click maps. These allow you to understand the exact number of clicks on each element available on your page, also helping you compare the clicks on a specific element to the total clicks on the page. Click area. This allows you to dynamically compare clicks by selecting specific areas on the web page. You simply need to drag and select an area to compare this to a corresponding area on the page. Scroll maps. This allows you to identify the views on the web page as you scroll down and help understand where are you losing the attention of your website visitors. What if you have a key call to action button at the bottom of the page and you notice very few visitors are viewing this, you immediately know this is an area you need to fix and move the button higher. Element list. This helps you get a view of all visible and hidden elements on the web page in a tabular form so you can quickly identify which elements are getting higher clicks and the ones which are being ignored. Let's move to the visitor recording section. VWO Visitor Recordings allow you to record visitor interactions with your website in a video form. The recordings show how users browse your website and capture their mouse movements, crawls, and clicks throughout the website pages. Analyzing visitor recordings can help you map the user journey on your website and figure out exactly why they're leaving, what's stopping them from performing an action, or where did they spend most of their time on a page. To get started, Click on Recordings under the Analyze section on the navigation bar and click on the Enable Now button for VWO to start recording a sample data set from your total website visitors. By default, VWO collects data on all the pages which have the smart code installed. But if you want to exclude certain URLs, you can use the Excluded URLs option. Similar to heat maps, you can create customized views to track activities of a specific visitor segment and save the view for later. To create a new view, click Create View. Now that your recordings are running and you'd like to view the dashboard, simply click on the Recording Options again to reach our dashboard. This will show the total number of visitors, clicks, and data retention. For each recorded session, you can view the location of the visitor, number of pages recorded, duration of the recording in seconds, device used by the visitor to access the website, browser use to access your website, and the operating system of the visitor. You can play, download, share, or delete any recordings captured in the Records page. You can segment these recordings based on any of the several parameters that we have. These include page count, duration in seconds, entry page URL, exit page URL, and visited page URL as well as over 20 different segments you can choose from our standard and custom segmentation gallery. Let us now show you how a recording looks like in VWO. The play, pause, next, previous, and adjust playback speed buttons. As in standard digital player, 
a visitor recording interface has separate buttons to play, pause, and adjust the playback speed of the video. This section shows the URL of the current page. The recording interface contains different checkboxes for you to select to get more specific insights. Show clicks. Select this option if you want the clicks to be highlighted in a recording. Show mouse trail. Select this option if you want to not see the mouse movements on the video. Skip pauses. Select this option if you want to see only the portions which have activity. In autoplay next page, select this option if you do not want to click next manually to analyze the next page of the session. This section highlights your traffic sources in terms of the platform, browser, device, and demographics. Click on any of these three options to perform the respective action that may be share, download, save, or delete. Next, we have form analysis. VWO form analysis helps you analyze forms on your website. You can view the count of visitors that landed, interacted, and finally submitted a form. It enables you to deep dive and analyze field level statistics such as hesitation and drop off reports amongst others. While setting up form analysis, you have two options. VWO automatically detects forms on your website and displays them in a drop down to choose from. You can also manually add a form ID or a form name to select a particular form. You can also track from data from a specific audience using targeting options. Once the form tracking starts, you will be able to see an overview report which shows the number of visitors who landed on the page which has the form, visitors who interacted with the form, and visitors who submitted the form. To help you further drill down, VWO has six field level reports. Total time report. This is the average amount of time spent on each field of the form. This report combines both interaction time and hesitation time of each field. Interaction report. This is the average time a visitor spends interacting with each field of the form. Visitors spending a long time on a field could signify errors on the field, unclear or invalid prompts on what to enter, or that they are changing their answers frequently. Hesitation time is the average time a visitor hesitates while filling up each field in the form. If visitors are unsure for a longer time on a field, it could mean the field is not clear. Ensure that the fields are understandable and easy to fill. Refield. Basically, the number of visitors who entered data in an input box and then made changes to what was entered or selected. Ignore. The number of visitors who ignored a particular field, this could mean that you may be asking for some information that the user is not willing to answer. Dropped. The number of visitors who did not submit the form and left on a specific field. If you observe a general trend with visitors dropping off at a certain point in the form, this should raise an alarm for you to take an immediate action. Moving to surveys now. BWO surveys help you discover a gold mine of insights on why your visitors are behaving in a certain way. With surveys, you can ask the right questions to the right audience and at the right moment. You can choose from BWO's over 20 predefined visitor segments, including landing page URL, new versus returning visitors, query parameter, amongst others. You can choose from BWO's five most popular triggers, which are time spent on a page, time spent in a session, number of pages viewed in a session, when they try to close the page, or if they scroll more than a certain number of pixels from the top. You can also combine these triggers or add a JavaScript code to trigger these surveys. Now, Choose from VWO's eight predefined question types to construct the most appropriate question for your audience, which are single line text box, multi line text box, radio button, checkbox, drop down, multi select list, rating, or NPS, which is Net Promoter Score. VWO surveys are completely customizable to match your brand guide. You can place a survey on the desired position of your web page and choose from a host of pre built themes in BWO or create on custom team to match your website.
BWO survey reports make it easy to find actionable insights from your visitor responses. You provide both a question view as well as a respondent view in our survey reports. With question view, you can see all responses for your survey and with the respondent view, you can see how individual respondents have answered different questions in the survey. Survey reports consist of bar charts to visualize multiple choice answers and word clouds to see trends in text answers.